Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable spiked ribbon deco mesh Dollar Tree wreath. What you will need, I have this adorable sign and it's actually a yard sign. I have my wreath ring, brown and white deco mesh, Chanel stems, some ribbon, scissors, and a hot glue gun. And all of these items were purchased at Dollar Tree. Alright, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do, I have cut my deco mesh into 8 inch long pieces. I'm going to roll it at a diagonal. And I'm going to do this with the brown and white deco mesh, crisscrossing them one on top of the other. And I've decided to go with three pieces of mesh in each bundle. Take half of a Chanel stem, twist it all together. I'm going to make another bundle. Again, I'm using eight inch long deco mesh, rolling it at a diagonal, using two pieces of brown, one piece of white, and I'm crisscrossing all three pieces so that every piece of mesh is visible. And then once I'm done, again, I'm going to use half of a Chanel stem to twist my pieces together. You can definitely go with four or five pieces if you choose to do so. You can roll it at a curl if you choose to do so. It's completely up to you. So whichever way you decide to roll it is going to give you a completely different wreath. And also for some bundles I'm going to add in a piece of my ribbon, an 8 inch long piece of my ribbon. And I'm only going to use one piece in every couple of bundles but if you want ribbon in each bundle you can definitely do that. If you want four or five pieces of ribbon in each bundle you can definitely do that. I'm going to get all of my bundles made and then we'll start placing them on the wreath. What I'm going to do is use the center two rings. You can alternate inner, outer, inner, outer, but I like to go with the center two because it makes a nice size wreath. So I'm just taking my Chanel stem, placing it on the center two rings, and twisting it a couple of times, and then tucking away the Chanel stem, just like that. So as you can see I have two bundles without the ribbon and then for the third bundle I'm going to add the ribbon. And then I'm just going to continue repeating this step all the way around the ring. I'm going to go with about six bundles in each of my six sections for a total of 36 bundles. And I'm using three pieces of deco mesh in each bundle. You can use more mesh, less mesh, whatever colors you decide. You can go with four or five different colors. Just have fun with it and make it your own. All right, I'm going to get the first section completed and show you what it's looking like. All right, I have completed my first section. Now I'm just adjusting it, making sure it looks nice. It looks so cute and poofy. This is what the back looks like. Alright, so we have all of our bundles in place. Now it's time to add the sign to the center. As you can see, I have broken off the bottom pick portion of the sign. And now I'm going to add Chanel stems so that I can attach it to my actual wreath. I have two Chanel stems I'm going to twist together to form one long Chanel stem and place it at the top of the sign and then two more at the bottom of the sign. Then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue it all in place. Now I'm going to place my sign in the center of my wreath. I'm kind of spreading the wreath out to make a little more space. And I'm just going to hide the bottom portion of my sign. You could definitely sand it down. You can do whatever you'd like to it. But when I tuck it away, it's not going to be visible, so I'm not worried about it. Once I have my sign in place where I would like for it to be, I'm going to push the mesh aside to find the actual wreath ring. And I'm going to take my Chanel stem and twist it to the ring just to make sure it's nice and secure. And I'm going to do this with all four Chanel stems.
But once I have all four stems tied down, I'm just adjusting my mesh, making sure there are no gaps or spaces, and everything looks really good. This wreath looks so cute and precious, and it's perfect for fall. And all items can be purchased at Dollar Tree, so you can make this entire wreath for less than $10. So cute.